Tom, uh, we are looking ahead to 2024. Today marks 18 months until Election Day. Can you believe it? And we could soon learn if Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will actually run. Now, while we don't know yet, billionaire GOP mega donor Peter Thiel, who once backed former President Donald Trump, is now signaling he prefers DeSantis. The PayPal co-founder on a podcast saying, quote, I think DeSantis would make a terrific president if he's the Republican nominee. I will strongly support him in 2024. Niall Sanage, White House columnist for The Hill. Niall, Thiel is a very ultra conservative. He's famous in Silicon Valley. What in the world did Mr. Trump do to tick him off? I think this is part of a bigger picture, Adrian, where the billionaire donor class has distanced itself from former President Trump. There is among that cohort a desire to turn the page, and there had been a belief that Ron DeSantis would be more electable in a general election. Having said all that, pretty important caveat, there's a lot of concern now as Governor DeSantis trails so far behind the former president in Republican polls. So we'll have to see what happens to that sort of billionaire donor consensus. Well, he's, he is different. He's a billionaire, but he's not like Elon Musk. Uh, he's not like a lot of billionaires out there. He has been very ostracized by certain members of his own community because of his extreme views and his ultra passion, whether it be in business or in politics. He uh, actually did face some criticism for the comments on DeSantis saying uh, the focus on identity politics on the woke religion is probably a distraction from stagnation. It's a distraction from economics. Uh, this is, again, from Peter himself. But is this why we haven't seen an announcement yet from DeSantis? I mean, he's not saying anything. It's like he's not committing to anything while he goes on world tours from Florida. Right, so there's this sort of shadow DeSantis campaign or quasi DeSantis campaign, and there hasn't been an announcement yet. There is a law in Florida that's being changed that prohibits state office holders from running for federal office at the same time. So that could be part of the reason. But look, to get to your point, those social issues are clearly something that Ron DeSantis has gone hard into. He has instigated controversies on those areas in the hope that that helps his fortunes with Republican primary voters. It might well do so, but I think for someone like Peter Thiel, who's more sort of libertarian, as I understand it, he would have quite serious reservations about some of those positions and would prefer that focus on economics. Well, both of them are ultra controversial, uh, in, depending on who you talk to. Niall Standage, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.